whole thing, the whole kissy face pouting pose is just Welcome to my bedroom once again, my sweet friends. This is a highly requested video. I'm going to be sharing with you my holy grails, the drugstore makeup holy grails that I have discovered over my many decades of wearing makeup that grace my face almost every day and that I highly recommend. So without further ado, let us jump straight in. I have a drawer full of makeup right in front of me Okay, for the most part, my friends, I do not wear foundation. I couldn't be bothered, A. B, I don't like the way it feels on my skin. And C, whatever makeup products I put on my face, they need to look natural. And I want my natural skin to come through. I don't like full coverage makeup that just looks like a mask in my opinion. However, I do have a favorite foundation, which I do wear on occasion. If I'm invited to some fancy event, wedding, engagement, party, night out, whatever, my go-to foundation is the L'Oreal True Match. Okay, I am not even gonna attempt to film this video without my eyes on. So now I can see everything I'm reading. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. Okay, I have it in two shades, obviously because in the warmer months of the year, I'm more tan and in the colder parts of the year, I'm more pale. The shades, if you are similar skin tone to me, 3N and 3D slash 3W. Creamy beige, golden beige. The reason why this is my go-to foundation when it comes to drugstore makeup is because it feels high-end. It does. It feels like Estee Lauder makeup. It really does. This foundation is just as good because, my friends, it is so skin-like. It's buildable, long-wearing, and just so natural. So if you have not tried this foundation, I highly recommend. I'm sure you're going to love it. Okay, so on a daily... I'm not a foundation wearer. However, I do wear my SPF every single day. I've mentioned this in my Holy Grail products. I like to mix an illuminating product with my SPF. This is my absolute favorite. It's the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, okay? Now this, unfortunately, is not readily available in Australia. So I am going to give you the equivalent, which I've spoken about before on my channel, it's the Revlon Skin Lights Face Glow Illuminator. So this is just as good. Yes, I prefer this one. There's just something about it that is so gorgeous. It's like a soft focus magical product that you put on your skin and it just gives you this gorgeous radiance and makes your skin look plump as well. This does the same thing, okay? I have it in shade 300, which is Sunrise Luster. So I add a little bit of this in my SPF daily moisturizer and I just put it all over my face. I just massage it into my skin until it's all disappeared and you're left with a subtle, well, it's not coverage, it evens out the complexion and you just have that gorgeous radiance. It's what I have on my skin now. It is what time? It's 2.10 in the afternoon. I've had my makeup on since 9 a.m. You can see that there's something on my skin but it looks very natural, right? So this is for the girl who doesn't wear foundation but who loves a radiant finish. If you are a matte girl and you love your face to look completely matte, you don't get this. That's pretty much how I prime my skin. I don't use a primer as such. However, I do have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is fantastic to fill in the pores, to smooth out the complexion, this is a good one from the drugstore, okay? But 
I gotta be honest and tell you guys, I don't really bother with it, I don't. But it does work, it really does. It's a good one, a good primer. When it comes to concealers, I need a shade to brighten my under eyes, but then I also want a shade to spot conceal any shadows, any redness, any hyper skin pigmentation, that kind of thing. My absolute favorite is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. I have it in three different shades. The shade I use to brighten my under eyes is 01. The shade I use to spot conceal is 02, but I also have 03 for when I'm particularly tan. Okay, so they are amazing concealers, as good as high-end. I only ever used to wear Lancome concealers, right? These are just as good. Oh, and I used to love that NARS soft matte concealer in the little pot. These are just as good. Maybelline also do a radiant finish, which is the Fit Me concealers, and I have two shades, the lighter shade in 20, and then the medium shade in 25. So all the branding has come off, but 20, 25, and one, two, and three in the Maybelline Matte Concealer. So if I'm traveling, I normally take the Radiant Finish because it's summer, I'm wearing a lot of cream products and I just feel it looks more natural. And then in the cooler months, I love to use this, the matte finish. They are fantastic concealers in my opinion. You don't need to be buying high end, you don't. When it comes to a finishing powder, I go through stages where I love wearing it and then I don't wear it at all. However, at the moment, I am in the phase where I love it, especially my under eyes. I will not do my makeup in the morning without powdering my under eyes. It's just an absolute must. And the powder of my choice, my friends, is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the Fair Light. This is the best drugstore powder I've ever tried. And believe me, I've tried tons. This is the thing with drugstore makeup. It's cheap, yes, and it's even cheaper when you get it at half price. There's always a deal in Woolworths, Coles, Priceline, Chemist Warehouse, and for those of you who are not from Australia, just drugstores in general will always have some kind of promotion on drugstore makeup. The unfortunate thing is with drugstore makeup, most products do not have testers. So you're buying blindly, trying things out. You know, sometimes they are just terrible, they don't work out, and it's just straight in the bin. I can't tell you how many times I've bought a makeup product, a blush, or whatever it is, and tried it, and I just, if I haven't got anyone to give it to, it goes in the bin. But back to this powder, it really is the best one I've ever used. When e.l.f. came out with their Halo Glow Setting Powder, which is this one, I did try it. This is empty. I used it all up. It just wasn't as great as the hype, in my opinion. This is so much better. This is amazing. This is finely milled. This will give you a flawless under eye. It keeps your makeup in place. It just makes your makeup so much more long lasting. And the finish is just poreless, natural, not heavy, not creasy. I, I truly, truly recommend this powder. So for loose powder, my friends, this is my go-to. I've just started using bronzer again because I discovered the most gorgeous, natural, radiant, soft focus bronzer that is drugstore. And my friends, it's this one here by e.l.f. It's called the Halo Glow Beauty Wand 
contour i bought this back from hawaii i'm pretty sure this is not available in kmart however it may be available on the elf australia website this is such a beautiful product i've got it on i've started wearing it this week it's so easy to apply okay so it's got this sponge tip applicator it's not a twist you just push it through the squeezy tube. I put a few dots, I go like this, and place a few dots, about four or five, in the hollow of my cheek, and then I blend it out with my beauty blender. It's, it's just beautiful. I'm in love with this product. This feels like high-end makeup. I'm telling you guys, it blends out like a dream. I'm just gonna put like four dots, which is what, I put on my cheek and I mean it's so natural isn't it so natural the shade that I have you guys is medium tan this is perfection it's it's both a contour and a bronzer it's not too warm like not too orangey but it's not too gray either I I love love this bronzer this is number one also by elf are the putty bronzers which are beautiful as well the way i apply this putty bronzer with my beauty blender and then so easy to apply it blends out beautifully the shades are gorgeous so i got two shades i have the lighter shade which is honey drip and then a darker shade which is golden days so this is a matte finish this is a radiant finish. However, they have also come out with the Luminous Putty Bronzer. I don't have those, I haven't bought them, and I don't think I will because I am just so in love with this. I am gonna buy backups of this. Wait till I show you something else that's in this formula as well. They are my go-tos when it comes to cream bronzer. Now, my favorite powder bronzer from the drugstore, I think would be the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So it looks like this. You get this little brush in there as well, which I don't use. And it smells like Hawaii. Coconuts, suntan lotion. It smells amazing, but that's not why I love it. This also has a beautiful radiant finish, a soft focus, gorgeous, lit from within kind of bronzy tan. You guys, I am not a beauty influencer, so, but that is the shade. Of course, it's very concentrated, but it's just silky, buttery, gorgeous, finely milled powder. This reminds me of the NARS Laguna, which is my absolute favorite high-end bronzer. So this is my favorite, but again, very hard to find in Australia. I picked this up in Hawaii. I think Priceline may sell this, but any of these, the Revlon Skin Light, the Bronze to Paradise by L'Oreal and the Maybelline City Bronzer are all very good. They're all kind of on par with each other, I would say, but this is my favorite. However, I have not been using it. I mean, until recently, I just wasn't into bronzer for some reason. I just phased it out of my makeup routine. But now, because of the halo glow, I'm wearing it every day. And I swear to God, I could get rid of all these bronzers and have only this and I'd be happy. Blush is my favorite complexion makeup product. I love blush so much when you find that right color for your skin tone. It's so youthful, it's so fresh, it just makes your face come alive. I just love blush. Let's talk about powder blushes first. My all time number one favorite powder blush from the drugstore is by Milani. And you can now pick up Milani makeup in Priceline for those of us who are in Australia. This shade in particular, it's called Luminoso. It is the most stunning blush color. This powder is just like silk. It's so finely milled and when you apply it on your cheek, there's no kickback. Oh my God, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. The color I would say 
is a cross between a pink and a coral and it's a luminous powder. It's absolutely stunning. There is no chunky bits of glitter. There is no tin man kind of strobe. It is just pure lit from within luminosity. It's this gorgeous punchy color that's so natural. I believe this color would suit anyone. It's beautiful and you can build it up. I like to apply this quite heavily because it doesn't look clownish. It's very soft focus kind of blush. I have had this for years and it's still going strong. Okay, and it comes with a little brush again and a mirror. Beautiful packaging. It's stunning. I don't mean to sound dramatic, but I can't live without this blush. I can't. So that is number one. Number two is Revlon Naughty Nude. Stunning, stunning nude blush. Oh my God. Again, it has a radiance to it. It's a luminous blush, but not chunky, not Tin Man like. And this shade, you guys, this Naughty Nude gorgeous shade, again, is going to work with so many different complexions. It's such a beautiful color, you guys. So beautiful, so natural. It's just so silky and soft. It's perfection. It's perfection. This is my second one. And if they ever discontinue this, I'm going to need to track down every single one and buy them because this must always be in my makeup collection. It's just that perfect nude shade for a natural makeup look, no matter the season, no matter your skin tone, it's just perfection. So obviously I love luminous blushes. I just do. I'm all about a gorgeous glow. I also want to give an honorable mention to this Fit Me Nude Blush by Maybelline. I've had this blush for so many years it's, again, a luminous finish in this beautiful nude color. Not quite as softly milled as the Naughty Nude by Revlon. And this one does have very subtle shimmer on the cheek. So it's a luminous finish again, but you can see a little bit of glitter in the powder. I actually saw it in, I think it was Coles or Woolworths on clearance and I thought, oh my God, they're gonna discontinue this. So I picked up a backup so that if they do discontinue, I think I'm pretty good for the rest of my life because it takes absolutely ages to finish a makeup product. The only products that I actually finish up, I would say are, base products like this and the foundation. Everything else just lasts ages and ages, but I am safe. So if they were in a race, the Milani comes first, the Revlon Naughty Nude comes second, and the Fit Me Nude comes third. Let's talk about cream blushes and liquid blushes because my friends I discovered the most beautiful blush color ever well one of the most so this is the same formula as the elf halo glow contour beauty wand this is called the halo glow blush beauty wand and I got it in one shade because I wasn't sure whether I would like them. Now I'm kicking myself. I wish I got all the shades. This one is very radiant. What a gorgeous color. I apply it in the same way but a little higher on my cheek. I do about four dots and then I blend it out. It's so subtle it's going to be hard to pick up on camera. You guys just believe me when I tell you that this is an absolutely stunning, luminous liquid blush and so easy to apply. You can't go wrong. You can't make any mistakes. You're not going to look like a clown. You are going to look fresh and youthful with a pop of color on your cheeks that looks like it's lit from within. I know I'm repeating myself. I'm not a beauty influencer. I'm not a makeup artist. I just know makeup very well. I've been applying it for the last 30 plus years. And so trust me, stunning, 
stunning my new favorites i can't wait till they are just readily available in kmart but look on the elf website because i'm gonna and i'm gonna get some more maybe not more of the bronzer shade i'm happy with that but i want more of these the blushes okay when it comes to cream blush my friends it's got to be the elf putty blushes i have many shades my friends these are 16 dollars a pop and you may be thinking 16 times how many have i got here eight that's maybe two high-end blushes or actually maybe just one but oops i love 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 i love all the colors actually there was one color that I got. It's called Caribbean and it's in this shade. It's very red and this does not suit me. So I may give that to my sister-in-law. She may like that because she is a Welsh rose with pale skin and that would probably suit her. But for me, it's the cream putty blushes and the more recent luminous putty blushes. If I'm gonna pick between the putty blush and the luminous blushes. Luminous. It's just the finish that I love. As we age, our skin can become sallow and just very ashen. So products with luminosity just give you a youthful, healthy glow. But make sure that the luminosity is not chunky glitters, not too extreme, not a strobe of metallic no that is not a good look we want luminosity okay don't get me wrong i do love the putty blushes they're yes a matte finish but very natural very skin like and very blendable and easy to apply love i've got all these gorgeous shades my favorite of these shades i think is barley it's just beautiful i love this it acts as a bronzer as well as a blush. So just gorgeous if you're very tan. My favorite shade in the luminous range is this new one that I just got. So this one here, so creamy, so easy to blend again, and just an absolutely stunning color. It's what I have on my cheeks today. Actually, what I will do at the end of this video is tell you exactly what I have on today and I will link all these products in the description box for your shopping pleasure. Okay, this shade, which is Maui, is a nude and would suit most skin tones. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, where can I put that here? I'm telling you guys, I am not a beauty influencer, so but can you see that? It's luminous, it's soft. There's color there, but it's not, it's just very natural. So that is the shade I would recommend if you're gonna start out with these cream blushes. I love this shade too. It's so punchy, gorgeous for travel in the summertime. This one's Isla de Sol. So I highly recommend all these e.l.f. blushes. They're not cheap for drugstore, $16 for one color. Okay, you could get a little palette with three colors from CoverGirl or Maybelline, but these are like high-end products. I am a big fan of e.l.f. makeup, my friends, because whenever something new and innovative or some kind of new formula comes out from the luxurious market, the high-end market, e.l.f. will come out with the drugstore alternative. And they are as brazen to copy the packaging almost of high-end stuff. So my best bet is e.l.f. When it comes to my brows, I love a natural brow. I'm not into the sculptured, perfected, drawn brow, filled in brow. That is not me. All I want in a brow product is to fill in any sparse areas and to keep them in place because my brows are very long and they droop down. When it comes to a natural brow product, if I'm at the beach, if I'm on travels, I prefer a laminated natural look and you cannot go past the e.l.f. brow lift. This is 
just magic this product it's a gel I use it with my spoolie and I will take product directly from the pot and then I will brush it into my brows in all different directions I'll brush all my brow hairs backwards then I'll brush them forwards and then I brush them into place I know the squeaking of my bed it's very annoying I do apologize that is how I use this product and your brows will stay in place they look glossy they look laminated but very natural and this is a product that I am never without I've always got backups not one but two which I picked up from Hawaii because Elf is so cheap in America. So yes, I am a huge fan of the Elf Brow Lift. Okay, so when I'm filming or if I'm going out, I want a step up from this, okay? It's still not gonna be that perfect sculptured brow because for that look, you need a pencil and then you need a gel to keep it in place, right? I'm not into that, never have been. This Elf, Wow Brow is an amazing product. It has pigment and it has natural fibers to fill in those sparse areas that actually mimic little hairs. It's incredible. I have the shade Neutral Brown. It's perfect for my brows. My brows are very dark. My advice is to go a shade lighter than your brow so not too dark because if you go dark then they look too blocky and that's not a good look but this is tops it really is and of course i got a couple of backups when i was in the states as well so like i said love the brow lift for holidays for swimming in the beach for hot weather and a very natural everyday no makeup look this is what i go for when i'm filming or going out this is what I go for. But for everyday brow maintenance, it's this, my friends. The writing has all but come off, but don't you worry, because yes, I have a backup. It is the Got To Be 2-in-1 Gel for Brows and Edges. This is amazing stuff. So the applicator is like a spoolie. You brush it into your brows, brush them in place, and they will stay there. They won't move. The finish is that crunchy, stiff feeling, but no one can tell. No one's gonna touch your brows. Your brows are in place and you don't have to worry about them all day. They're not gonna budge. For the girl who has pretty good brows that don't really need much filling in and loves a natural look because she's low maintenance, you can't go past this. I can talk about mascara at length because I feel that I am an expert at this point. It is the one makeup product that I cannot live without. It's the one makeup product that makes me feel feminine, alive, awake. It's just, mascara is it. Let us talk about black mascaras. If you enjoy length, which I do, I am more about length than volume at this stage in my life. When I was younger, I loved volume. Thick, voluminous lashes was what I was after. But now, as an almost 52 year old, I prefer a lengthening mascara because by lengthening the lashes, it defines them and gives the eye a more natural, fluttery look. And that to me is so wearable, again, so natural and so easy to look after during the day. You're not going to get blobs of flaky mascara on your skin or mascara transfer onto your under eye. My mascara of choice, my friends, is the L'Oreal Telescopic in black. Okay, it's a gorgeous mascara very natural. This wand is tiny so you can get into the inner corners and the outer corners which I think is where the definition comes in. If you don't look after those inner lashes and the outer ones you're not making your mascara work for you at full 
potential. This, this brush just gets in there, coats every single lash, but in a very natural, subtle way. However, I will say this does smudge. That's my only gripe. Okay, it smudges, so you've got to make sure that you dry it up. I have this fan that I use every morning when I do my makeup and I just fan myself between products, especially mascara, so that I can look after any smudging or any fallout before I go out and face my day. But if you are after a voluminous mascara, you cannot go past the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. You cannot. I love the waterproof version. For some reason, it holds a curl. It isn't as clumpy as this one. I just love the waterproof version. The only downside is I can't get it off at night. So when I travel, my friends, I am always wearing the Lash Paradise waterproof. And when I'm after a voluminous look, if I'm going to a wedding or just want a more glammed up look for whatever occasion, I go for the Lash Paradise in black. So the Lash Paradise has a different wand than the telescopic. It's the more traditional fiber kind of, I don't even know what they call these wands. I find this applicator so much easier to work with. Both are gorgeous gorgeous mascaras. They are as good as the Lancome mascaras I used to wear for years and years and spent a fortune on. A fortune. These are just as good. A new discovery that I am very excited to share because I have heard no one talk about this is a brown mascara that I discovered. I have been on the hunt for a brown mascara for the longest time. I just feel that Brown is more natural, more softer. As I'm aging, I'm just after a more natural look. Okay, so this is the Natio or Natio Extreme Volume Smudge Proof Mascara in Brown. That is what it looks like. Let me show you the applicator and it is a beautiful mascara and it is smudge proof. I love the definition it gives my lashes. I love the color. It's so subtle. The fact that this is smudge proof just makes it a winner for me. This is my new obsession. I wear this every day. I've got it on today. I love this mascara. When it comes to eye pencils, eyeliners, this is something I use every day like mascara. The rims of my eyes, the bottom rim and the top rim are never without eyeliner when I've got makeup on. It's just something that I've been doing ever since I was really young. And I have been using these three eye definers from Rimmel for absolute years. The Scandalize Exaggerate Eye Definer. I have it in chocolate brown, in starlit black, and blackest black. Although I must say the blackest black, I don't really wear anymore. I haven't used it in ages, but it is just a classic, gorgeous, matte black eye definer that stays put, it's waterproof, and it doesn't smudge. That's why I love this Rimmel brand. And you don't have to sharpen them, they come in this twist top component. The color that I wear every single day is the chocolate brown. I love this color. I have gone through so many of these. It's just, a beautiful, soft, matte brown. Just gorgeous, very deep, but not warm. Just that gorgeous chocolate brown. And lastly, the Starlit Black is stunning for when you have somewhere to go and you want a little bit of drama because I don't use this eye definer in my rims. I use it along my lash line and then I use it to create a soft wing because I blend it out with an eyeshadow brush or sometimes even my finger. It just is the most gorgeous effect. And when you blend it out, you can see the soft glitter and it makes for a beautiful smoky eyeshadow, but it's really not eyeshadow, it's an eye pencil. And that is what it looks like. It's so, so beautiful, my friends. I, I can't live without that color. 
My friends, I am not an eyeshadow person. I used to be. I have a Chanel compact in here somewhere. I mean, I used to be obsessed with Chanel, right? I don't wear eyeshadow anymore. I just couldn't be bothered. What I do is pop some of my bronzer into my crease or the blush that I'm wearing into my crease or I have this which is Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in Espresso and I will pop this on my lid and blend it out either with my finger or a brush and it's a wash of color on the lids that is just so pretty. So, so pretty. I just love it. The Revlon Colorstay eyeshadows are so good. There are so many different shades. I love this one. I also need to give a shout out to the e.l.f. No Budge Stick eyeshadows. These are gorgeous. They have a shimmer and as long as you work quickly, you can smudge these out all over the eye for a one wash color or you can create a little shimmering wing which is so pretty as well. I've got a couple of colors. I've got this amazing midnight blue color and I will just blend that out really quickly so you can see it's a very pretty color. The other color I love is this copper shade. So I'll blend that out too and there you have just two beautiful easy to apply shimmery shadows. I love to wear this blue if I'm wearing a blue top. It just ties in beautifully together. And this coppery color is just so natural, absolutely gorgeous. That is what they look like. I got these from Kmart. They have a big e.l.f. range in there, but you'll find even more on the website, on the e.l.f. website. When it comes to lips, I'm almost always wearing just a lip definer, a lip pencil, and a lip balm over top. Burt's Bees, whatever. I have so many lip balms all over the place, and that is it. I am very excited to report that I have discovered a new lip pencil that is the the best. It's my all time number one lip pencil ever, ever since I've been wearing makeup. And that is a huge statement because I have been wearing MAC Subculture for years. I've got to back up, don't worry. So MAC Subculture was it for me, right? It's a gorgeous nude, okay? Still love it. I'm very loyal. I still love it. But this pencil is even better. It's even better. That is a huge statement because I am a ride or die for this. But I'm sorry, little Mac subculture. This NYX lip pencil in nude beige has kicked your ass and it's so, so cheap. I could buy maybe three or even four of these and just one Mac lip liner. I'll tell you a secret. I overline my lips. I have lost a lot of volume in my lips. I've always had a very plump top and bottom lip, but I do have a small mouth. So I am terrified of getting lip filler. I just do not like the look. Let's just say that I can identify like that if someone's had lip filler. So it doesn't look natural. There may be one or two people that I follow on Instagram who have had it done so well by someone amazing and it does look kind of natural, but you can tell that it's lip filler. You just can. It's got this, this trademark look and I am not one to do this in my Instagram pics. You will never see me posing in that fashion, my friends. Not one photo of my Instagram has me pouting or making that ducky kissy face. That whole thing, the whole kissy face pouting pose is just, I'm so sorry, my friends, I had to change the battery. So where were we? Oh yes, lips. That whole kissy face pouty pose, it's so just, oh God, I, I just, it's just, 
it's just not a good look to me. It's, I am so sick to death of seeing girls pose like that. It's just, anyway, anyway, let's not get sidetracked. I was telling you guys about this. Yes, that's what I was telling you guys about my lips. So yes, no lip filler. I'm too scared. However, I will and do overdraw my lips and they look natural because I use a lip definer that mimics my natural lip color. The closest shade to my natural lip color that I had ever come across was my MAC subculture. But then I discovered this in Hawaii, NYX Nude Beige. Write it down because I promise you, you will try it and you will love it. And I may even show you guys how I overdraw my lips. This is a little tutorial. My Cupid's bow, from one corner to the other, I draw a line over the top. So the peak of the Cupid's bow. Okay, so in actual fact, it's kind of like a straight line over the, the, the peak of your Cupid's bow. Then I go from corner to corner and I don't draw my lips all around because when you close your lips, you don't see the outer part. Well, I don't. You see the pouty part of your lip. So what I do is I go from a corner about halfway and join it up to the peak of my Cupid's bow, like this. And then for the bottom lip, I go under the natural line of my lip. A little bit. Up into the corner, but not all the way. And that is it. How bigger do my lips look? And then I just go over top with my lip balm. And that is a full lip with no lip filler, no injections, no thousands of dollars spent, just a $10 lip pencil. Amazing. This is my favorite lip definer of all time in all the history that I have been wearing makeup. NYX Nude Beige. We are on to the last product, my friends, and it's a lipstick by L'Oreal. It's just a beautiful formula. What I look for in a lipstick is I want my lips to come through. I do not want opaque lips. I don't want a thick pigment. I don't want anything sticky. It's the Color Shine range and this particular shade is Coconut Plump. Now they're always bringing out new shades and discontinuing others. I'm not sure if this shade is still available, but it's an absolutely gorgeous nude. So it's a very natural shade. Like I said, you can see my lips. It's more like a balm. It's just gorgeous. It's shine without being sticky and just over the top. The packaging is also really cute in the L'Oreal Color Shine lipsticks. Really cute. And those, my friends, are my drugstore holy grail makeup products. As promised, let me tell you what I have on today. It is now 3.50 and I've been wearing makeup all day, no touch-ups. This is my makeup from this morning. On my face, I have my sunscreen mixed in with my Lumi Glotion. My under eye concealer is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I didn't spot conceal anywhere else today. On my cheeks, I have the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush in the shade Bermuda. So that's on my cheeks. I am also wearing the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Beauty Wand in the hollows of my cheeks a little bit. 
around my forehead and on the sides of my nose and then my blush goes just a little bit higher on the cheekbone here on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on the bridge of the nose for my brows today i used the elf wow brow the mascara i used today was the natio smudge proof extreme volume brown mascara on the upper and lower rim of my eyes i am wearing the rimmel Scandalous Eyes Exaggerate Eye Definer in Chocolate Brown. The lip pencil that I'm wearing on my lips is the NYX Nude Beige Lip Definer. Mwah, love that so much. And the Burt's Bees Lip Balm over top. And that, my friends, is everything. As we age, less is more. Makeup is there to define our features, to give our skin a lift by contouring perhaps, by using luminous products. Makeup is great. It's a great pick-me-up. I always have a better day when I have my makeup on because when you look good, you feel good, right? They kind of tie in together. So I think we owe it to ourselves to take that little bit of time every morning to apply our makeup. I'm usually watching a YouTube video. It's my little ritual. I'm drinking my hot water, doing my makeup, getting ready for the day. Just because we're aging, it doesn't mean that we have to give up on life. Not when it comes to beauty, not when it comes to fashion, not when it comes to love, adventure, anything. We are aging, but we are not over my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link and list all these products down below. I'll try and find them all. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.